It's a test match field. They got the man at deep backward square rather than fine leg. No, 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 no. Because they know Stewie Matsukanyuri does like to hook. Now, if I was him today, I'd put it away. Just uh, no hook shots, no pull shots. These guys will be just a bit quick for you, son. If you can just start one on middle and off, maybe. He's sure to nick it. There's one that's straight at a big shot. It's got up. You called it, Bruce Yardley. Straight up. Has gone for the shot. Got the outside edge. A simple catch to Adam Gilchrist. Oh, Stuart. Just started uh, just outside off, and it was one to leave. He'll have to learn from that. It's too late now. Just a little rush of blood. He should have expected the ball to be bowled closer. He's gone for eight. It's nine for one. Yeah, they're just bowling the corridor, aren't they? Just on an outside off stump. Gillespie taking it away. And how many can they leave before they... That's a good shot. He's got forward. And he's hit that in the middle of the bat. And it could go for four. It has the first boundary of the innings for Pussy Sibanda. A good way to start your scoring. What a lovely shot. Square drive. Just through the cover point region. Beautifully balanced. Look at this. Good shot. Well played. Running away in front of the scoreboard for four. Very good connection. Brendan Taylor will be pleased with that shot. Certainly gives him a lot of confidence. First loose ball he's faced. The drive is straying a little bit short and wide. Brendan Taylor making no mistake. For his first boundary. Got him straight through him and disturbs the timber. So Vusi Sibanda is gone. Well, even great fast bowlers need a bit of confidence, and he got one there. He's gone off the long run. He's got one to come back here. Really starting to put in. That's the off cutter. You can see the way he went over the top of the, the scene. The, the scene started to wobble back in towards the middle, and it's gone through the gate, off the pad, and bang, there goes the off stump. Shocking sound if you're a batsman. Good sound if you're a bowler. So Sibanda goes for 18. And Zimbabwe are 46 for two. Good shot. Very good shot. He's just stood there and delivered. It's gone for four. Well, Damien Martin realised it was in the air, but he didn't have much time at all to react. In the air, through extra cover, but it's a fabulous shot. And that's what happens in one-day cricket. You've got to go after it. A little bit of width there. And Glenn McGraw won't like that at all. He's got he's got one wicket, but he's been hurt a little bit today. Yeah, go on. More runs here. This time square. And this one uh, is going to tease. And it's going to win. So it's not a great start for Williams. It's Zimbabwe enjoying the first four balls of the over, of the spell. Yes, all morning they've been a bit short and a bit wide, the Aussies. Making sure that they don't give them any half volleys. But uh, it doesn't matter who you're bowling against. It doesn't matter whether they're great players or inexperienced players. You give them up width and it's a bit short, you'll get punished. So eight runs off this over so far. Still two balls remaining. The first uh, delivery ball was a wide, a big wide. Just seems he's struggling a bit with his uh, rhythm, Brad Williams. I think he's one of those bowlers, uh, Bruce, who certainly relies on that, as most do, I suppose, but him more than most. He's a big lad. Got him! Straight through! Looking to drag wide on the leg side, so Williams has come back and he's had the last laugh. 
got the rhythm right. <laughs> yeah, the, the Aussies just look a little heavy in the legs this morning, you know. And uh, look at the scene with the fingers there. Have a look at the seam here. Perfect outswinger. And not the greatest of shot. Where did he try and hit that? Absolutely nowhere, I reckon. I reckon he picked it up late. And it was uh, just a shock reaction. He's gone for eight, Dion Ibrahim. 64 for three. Inside out, beautiful shot. That might go away for four. Oh, class batting. Played with the spin. Very good shot. Didn't try to hit it too hard. Got it in the middle of the bat. And it's a fantastic boundary. And it's his fourth boundary. I'll tell you, Sydney likes to play over extra cover in this occasion. Using his feet to Darren Lehman. Hanging the inside out with the spin. A good boundary. Another single there. There's the 100 up. There for Zimbabwe. And now the crowd are just starting to get behind this inexperienced team. Fantastic. They play very well. There's a half a shout there. Got him outside the line. End of the over. Zimbabwe, 100 for three. Inside out to Tender Tiber, who's gone over the top. Beautiful shot. The captain's put his hand up here. I'll take him on. You work the ball around. Good cricket. On to Tender Tiber, leading from the front. Pulling this one over Mudon for a couple of bounces. Giving himself room. And he knows he's got to accelerate. And that's the 50 partnership between these two of just 82 balls. Again, oh, beautiful piece of fielding there. But now all of a sudden you can feel this game has had a cup of coffee and woken this Zimbabwe team up a little bit. They want to play some shots here, which is great. Inside out again, a magnificent shot again. He likes it out there. One bounce, two bounces in. It's his fifth boundary, lovely shot, again by Taylor. Certainly, Sir Taylor's certainly strong up there with extra cover, and on this occasion, making no mistake. Bit of width here from Darren Lehman, opening the face. Nicely time for another boundary. Quick single again, good batting. Oh, that's smart play. Hitting a boundary. Dropping it at your feet, pinching another single. Typical one-day cricket stuff. Fine lap there. Jitenda Taibu looking for two, but I wouldn't take on Andrew Simons any time, any place in the world. Poor throw from him, but... He is a brilliant fieldsman. Let me down with the throw. They often do when you give them a little bit of encouragement. Pull shot away. That might go for four. It's quite slow at that top. Oh, he's hit it well. Let's go for another one. Well, there might be a bowling change here. Clark might come in, come on for the city end. But uh, it's got his sixth boundary. Taylor pouncing on that short delivery again. Making no mistake. Putting everything behind it. Getting another boundary for Zimbabwe. A chance and he's gone. Trying to hit it over the top of extra cover. Didn't get enough bat on it. And he's hit it straight to Damian Martin, I think. And Ricky Ponting, the captain there. Well, it ends a fantastic knock there from Taylor. And he's gone. Taylor looking for the extra cover shot again. Only managing to find Ricky Ponting. Making no mistake. He departs for a well played. 59 of 101 balls. And the table back in the way. And he gets it through that offside. Miroff is up. The long chase, he won't get there. Four more. So the run rate just being taken up a little bit. Good intent. Well, they have to back themselves here a bit because uh, there's only 12 overs remaining. And uh, gave himself room. Kept his eye on the ball and hit it where it was supposed to go. Well played. 
very, very beautiful fielding. Ricky Ponting. Rick Neck there when he dived for that, maybe. But uh, they figured there was a single. Brilliant stuff. Slightly short and is onto that flash. A very, very good shot. And um, some work but by the two fast men out in the deep. We'll have to go to the 30 to check if this was um, legitimately stopped from going for four. I reckon it might show us that he's, he's actually got a hand to it early. He's kept going. Yeah, I think he's OK. He got the hand off the ball in time. Gillespie, Gillespie backed him up. McGrath there, you'll see, pushes it away. And has he touched the rope? Is it touching his leg as he touches the rope? I think so. I'd give it four. There you go. That's a good shot. He likes the ball short of a length because he's predominantly a back foot player. He's just rocked back and lifted this over the cover field. Strong man. You need to be strong to play that shot. He's out of sorts at the moment, Brad Williams. Just too short, too wide. Still got a good enough to put it away, but he, he, he's a back foot player. There you go. It's up in the air, and it's going to go out the ground. The spectators dropped it. Six. But to attend a tie, we six more to the Zimbabwean score. Is it terrific? I've got uh, some goosebumps. You can see them. He just throws that left leg away and decided, well, it's time to go. We're in the last 10 overs, and I'm the one who's uh, been in for 60 deliveries. It's about time I gave him a touch-up. Shot! That is a very good shot. Now, it's difficult to hit low full tosses at the best of times for four. Oh, for Mullins, hit this for six. Straight back over the bowler's head. A powerful shot. As I said, the ball travels here. Just keeps going. In thin air, high altitude. Great shot. And I would... Uh, I would suggest that Taibu just keeps going on, just chipping away, playing safe shots. And look at that, that's not an easy shot to play. It's a full toss, low full toss, and he's got it over the line. And uh, Vermeulen just keeps going. 16 from 13. Taibu, you make sure you're not out at the end. That's a good shot. It might be called no ball too, depending on whether it was higher than the waist or not. It's not. It's called four to tender Taibu. It goes to 52. His fifth one day international 50. He's played well too. Started slowly, being circumspect, and when it's been needed, increased the scoring rate. That ball to Andy over 168 for four. There's another big shot. It's over mid on. Tall man Jason Gillespie. He's right on the circle at mid on. For a, for a moment there, Kasprovitz and Gillespie would have thought there might be a chance of him catching it. But it's just crept over. Have a look at that. It's got under it and off to the boundary. Yeah, just threw the bottom hand in there to scoop it over the top. We'll see a fair bit of this from Vermeulen. He's obviously gone out there on a mission to, uh, to take them on. Uh, Long on uh, is now being placed that is Gillespie going from mid on so the fine leg comes up Matthew Hayden comes up from fine leg to make sure that there's four inside the circle it's gone straight up in the air Ricky Ponting's under it got it a very very good catch very difficult these ones going over your head you've got to be absolutely spot on get the hands up in a good position he did all that had to dive to his left. Held on to it. 
trying to hit boundaries the Zimbabweans from Newland perishes look at that wonderful catching so from goes for 20 a well played 20 of 15 balls 172 for five now God. Straight to Ricky Ponting, hit it pretty well, but uh, gee, Ricky Ponting's one of those blokes, if he's anywhere in the vicinity, he's going to snaffle it. So that's an important wicket for Australia. They've got rid of Zimbabwe skipper, and Michael Kasperitz back into the attack has done the damage. And they were looking to play that through the covers. Ricky Ponting making no mistake, taking three catches in that area. Put in the table leaves, well played. 57. Of 76 balls, Zimbabwe 184 for six. Well, Lecky and Carlo is the next man in. Of course, there's not too much time left. We're two balls into the 46 over. He's someone who likes to uh, dip a bit to the side and Carlo and uh, to tend to tie. We played very, very well before he just picked out Ricky Ponting beautifully in the covers. Certainly doing the right thing by trying to go over the top and uh, trying to be nice and aggressive. But uh, Ricky Ponting got three catches in the inning so far. Doesn't drop too many, that's for sure. Wants one, hesitation, trouble, out. Out by some distance. So Syke and Carla sitting there hasn't lasted too long. A real mix up there in the middle. And Kasperovic has done the work again and he's picked up uh, another wicket, I suppose you could say. We've got a confusion here between us for Birdie and Carla. First call, yes. And then Carla all running down the wicket, looking for the single. That's Mergridi sending him back when it's too late. Setting that target of uh, 225 is uh, looking well out of reach. Zimbabweans just losing wickets when they started to look like they were going to get that target. Looking for that one boundary too many. It's up to Maragwedi and Panyangara now. And get some sort of a total above 200. It's gone a long way. Clark's under it again, under pressure. He's put down a couple, but that's easy. Piece of cake for Michael Clark that time. So that's another wicket down. Zimbabwe have lost their eighth. And Jason Gillespie has picked up his second. Talisa Maruguedi didn't quite get hold of it. And he just guided to long on to Michael Clark. And makes no mistake this time. Again, the slow ball. Nice shot. Straight back past the stumps. Michael Clark will tidy up. And they're sure how to come back for the second, and they do quite comfortably. Also brings up the 200. Well done, Zimbabwe. Good crowd in today, which is always pleasing to see, and they've uh, enjoyed watching this young team get these runs. 200 for eight they are. Well, here's trouble again. Simons is going to take off these bales. So there's another run out. They don't need that, Zimbabwe. Admittedly, it's the last over, but a couple of lusty blows towards the end. Can certainly make a little bit of difference. Steve Buckler's uh, just deciding who should be going now due to the crossing. And it's uh, Barrio who has uh, been asked to go. Panyanga wanting it. And well fielded from Simons. And did they cross? And they do. Zimbabwe 204 for nine. Just pick up a single unless Douglas Hondo looks to do something really silly. No, just the one it is. It's always been entertaining when Hondo comes to the crease of the bat in his hand. But it is just the single. And 205 for nine is what Zimbabwe end up with. But they'll feel there are about 20 to 25 runs. Fewer than what they should have got. At one stage, they were sitting nicely at 172 for four. And then it all went horribly pear-shaped. But Taylor and Ty were the top scorer. For Mulan was uh, pretty impressive as well. 20 or 15 balls. And there's the bowling figures. Glenn McGrath, one for 35 off 10. Mission accomplished for him. He came back into the national cricket and bowled 10 overs. Jason Gillespie, outstanding. Two for 21 off uh, the maximum as well. And Michael Casper is just behind with two for 26. One apiece to Brad Williams, who's got a back problem. And also Darren Lehman, who uh, just bowled half a dozen overs. So uh, the target for Australia, 206 they need of 50 overs. They've got to go at 4.1 runs per over. Four. Here we go. Crisply hit, 
onto that leg side, a hint of swing, swing back into the left-hander, and it goes to a well-placed mid-wicket, straight mid-wicket. Here you go, good seam, hits and swings onto the legs of Adam Gilchrist, helps it onto that leg side, Tawandam Pariwa does the fielding. Nasha Panyangara, a very talented young lad. In his sixth match, already got four wickets. Bold with a lot of promise against the Sri Lankans. And he'll find this a stiff challenge. He'll be wanting to be up to the task. Get the ball in the right areas. He'll have learnt a lot from the experience he got against the Sri Lankans. He'll be wanting to prove himself here. Going to Matthew Hayden. Gone straight up, it's gone! He's got him with the first ball in his ball. Look at the celebration. He's very happy about that, I can tell you. They've broken through the Zimbabweans thanks to the youngster Tinashe Panyangara. He's got it short of a length. Hayden pressing forward, looking to hit it on the leg side. It's got big on him. And he's looped it to mid mid-wicket. Catch taken by Tawandam Pariwa. Well, got it high in the plate up near the splice, and that's it, and that's an out. You couldn't believe it. Hayden saw he missed today, bowl in the nets. He thought he was so good. Let's sign him up for Queensland now. And that's the start the Zimbabweans wanted. One of the greatest players in the world. He's out for a duck. Australia one for one. And that's where he's good. He just slices it a bit. Didn't quite get it with that big Puma bat. And that big contract he just signed with $2 million for the next three years. Not saying they don't get a lot of money, but that's a lot of money. Oh, he's hit this, like you say, the sly section. It's not gone too quickly to the boundary. He's hit the ones that have gone to the field a lot harder than he's hit that one. Any room outside that off stump, and he will latch onto it. And he'll get a couple there. Ed might go for three. He'll be pushing hard. Gilchrist is going back. Oh, the timing's brilliant. It's gone for four. Well, they'll, they'll get four. They should run four. This will give us a better idea. There you go. The ball has gone across the rope. Four dot balls in a row from Hondo. Goodness me. How was that shot? Has that gone all the way for six? Got the security guard as well. Knocked him off his seat. Just about knocked us off his seat as well with that shot. What an outstanding play that was. Front foot. Look at that. I was saying earlier on that you're 5,000 feet above sea level here. And the ball travels. And look at it. <laughs> what an amazing shot. Just rocked onto the front foot, pivoted, and six. Goodness me. Half a dozen to Adam Gilchrist. Beautiful shot. <laughs> You're going to learn fast, Tadasha Panyangara. There is a length that you have to bowl, and that's just a bit too short. He kept him tucked up, got some nice little in-swingers coming into him, keeping him on the front foot, and then dropped one in short. Maybe he thought he'd catch him by surprise. He caught Matty Hayden by surprise first ball, but Gilchrist is in and on his way. And he's gone again. This time it's sliced over the top of cover. It hits on the practice deck, so he gets an extra little spurt, and it's going to go pretty close. Oh, the early dive as well. And Dede Brown decides to dive and thought himself. That was interesting. 50 stand up between these two, 52 balls only. But uh, Dede Brown just entertaining us with a bit of fielding in the outfield. <laughs> Good catch. Oh, has he? Oh, goodness me now. This is quite interesting. By rights, by the letter of the law, that is not out. He didn't have full control of it. Gilchrist has walked. We've seen him do that before. He doesn't hesitate one bit. And uh, the end result is that uh, a wicket has fallen. He had enough control of the ball here to be able to catch it and think about throwing it away. See it? Yeah. He's got, he had control of that, uh, of that catch, a great catch. 
So Bunder's the man that took it. Gilchrist has uh, not hesitated at all. He's gone for 26. So well done, Adam Gilchrist. He could have stood around and that could have been referred. He didn't do it. He's gone 53 for two. Gee, what a shot. What a glorious stroke that is. Off the back foot, just punched it through extra cover for four. Magnificent. Well, we just mentioned this exquisite timing from Damian Martin and how this pitch would suit him. The ball's just coming on. Perfect bounce. Look at it. It's his best shot. <laughs> God, that's magnificent. Just to show uh, any of you young kids out there watching, you don't have to swing your head off to hit them for four. It's all about, about timing. What I liked about it, Bruce, and I could, uh, I could look at that shot a couple of times, actually, what I liked about that shot from Damien Martin was uh, just the control, just the remarkable control. I mean, uh, as you said, I mean, guys do go through the motions of, uh, or do try and hit the ball too hard. Look at that. Everything is absolutely perfect. I was feeling a bit of a shooting gallery there. Oh, that's a great shot. Terrific. That is absolutely outstanding. We have seen some wonderful strokes already in this innings from the Australians. 13 overs gone. 72 for two. Short. Pulled away. It's got for four. Not a good way to start from New Ligging Carla. Certainly can't bowl short to the Aussie batsman. Tim Martin making no mistake on that occasion. Thank you very much. I'll take that. Four more. 100 runs exactly required now. It's getting uh, clinical from Australia. Straight drive and four runs. Lovely shot all along the turf. Slightly over pitched and has certainly got the treatment. Just cannot afford to bowl anything that's either too short as Ponting will just put that away on the leg side with ease or anything that's too full. This shot brings up his 50. Lovely shot. Over the top, and it's gone for half a dozen. Six more runs, lovely shot. Just a bit of a launch, really, from Ricky Ponting. And that's also the end of the over. A very good over, 13 runs coming off it. 118 for two. Graham Hick was just 16. That's the launch. And it's gone towards the cow corner region. And it's gone a long, long way. Terrific shot. Well, we said, you said two areas, and that was your first pick. Yeah, well done. <laughs> He's got up and under that. It's like a little solid 9-9 for him. Up and under, with a little bit of draw. Going, going, gone. Go, boy. Very good shot again. It's not going to go all the way for six. It's one bounce four, but that brings up the 100 stand. 103 now between these two. Off just 112 deliveries. And I think Ricky Ponting is uh, just about to open the floodgates. He has this knack of one dropping the ball short, and then he pulls off the front foot. He had a magnificent shot before they nearly killed a security officer. And there's one that's bounced it in the crowd. So on Kyla, take a bit of tap because he's coming as a fifth bowler. And that's fine. First ball drifting down leg side, and I'm sure it's a leg glance for four. Once again, this Marvin ball is straying down leg. And Ricky Ponting making no mistake. Turning it around the corner for four more. Now it's tucked away, and that's his 50. Vermeulen out there will keep it to a single. So well played, Damien Martin, 167 for two. And a nice line, but it's got it through. Back with a point, it might go all the way. Timing again from Damien Martin, exquisite. Damien Martin making no mistake on this occasion, off the back foot. Through point. 
well timed perfect balance well placed Four. this time behind square and should push for two and get it so Taibu has decided to uh, maybe in an attempt to pick up an extra wicket six men inside the circle when the side's 186 for two chasing 206 to win and I think maybe he could just give his bowlers a bit more protection on it on a track like this I certainly brought the sweep on the offside in the four men in the covers so just a single Nineteen more required off ninety-eight deliveries, so they're going to get them. <laughs> and Ponting needs twelve for a hundred. Batting at one hundred and one, just been uh, pretty special stuff from him. It's one thing with the Aussies; they, uh, if they lose a couple of early wickets, they'll just keep going. And this is backward of point for another couple. So I would, I would think that Damien Martin will uh, will give him the strike for another 100. He deserves it. It's been beautiful to watch. Certainly has played some fine shots. Eight fours and three sixes in his innings of 90. Of 88 balls. Damien Martin indicated to Ponting. Probably will give you the strike as much as he can. Now, is that runs or leg buys? Leg buys. And Carl has gone to a deep mid wicket position, but he's not on the fence. So there's the invitation to hit it over the top if you like. Well bowled. Up in the block hole. Good stuff. He wouldn't want to bowl one just short of the leg. They can get under because there's no one long on. Oh, there he goes. Is he heading out there now? Fine legs coming up. Long one's going back. Panyangara will be looking to bowl in the block hole. And the sweep on the offside is going back. They're inviting him, Peggy Ponting, to clear the fielders. If not, he'll get a single or get out. That could be. Wow, what a magnificent catch that was, running to his right and diving, managed to catch it with one hand. That's Vusi Sibanda. He's bowled it well, he's bowled it full, he tried to bowl a York, and look at that, that's about as good as anything you'll see. Vusi Sibanda. That will be shown forever, that catch, my boy, and Ricky Ponting's gone for 91. It's 197 for three. Michael Clark's on strike. Oh, look out, look out. Oh, a direct hit. He, he, he held his he held the throw back. Looks like Maraguadi had the chance to affect a run out here of Damian Martin. Got across nicely and held the throw back. He had to let it rip at the base of the stumps uh, I think he should have just had a go at the stumps there aiming for the base so he needs four for 77 and four to win the match full toss gee whiz when you're on 73 and hitting him so sweet in the middle of the bat he gets a full toss and doesn't attempt to put it away it's strange The last 5.1 overs, nine runs for one wicket. Utmost respect here for Tanasha Panyangara. He's in his 10th over. He's got two for 43. And to tend to Taibu, has brought everybody up. He's, uh, he's got 
four inside the circle on the offside, and two on the leg side. So there's plenty of opportunities to get it to the get it to the fence. And that's a single. Down to Dougie Hondo. Left to Michael Clark to try and hit the winning grant. Three more required. He's getting his gloves in order. Helmet. Three more required, three more del balls. And it's over. There it is, that's the one. He's done it. Bit of bottom hand straight back over. Long on, and that is the match. A win to Australia by seven wickets. There's a fine shot there from Michael Clark. Straight back for four. And Australia win the match by seven wickets. The, the 40th over. And there it is, 26 from Gilchrist. Hayden went first ball, ponding 91. Trying to pick up his 100. Got caught in the, in the deep. Martin, 74 not out, terrific innings from him, and Clark came in with five from 18. And the bowling figures, Douglas Hondo, seven overs, one for 40. Banyangara, 9.4 overs, two for 48. Pick up the wicket of um, Hayden and uh, Gilchrist. And Kyla, five overs, north for 24. Pariwa, 10 overs, north for 47, bowled very well. Matsukanyeri, six overs, north for 31. And Vusi Simanda, two overs, north for 30. But he didn't get too many wickets and uh, got Bell who took two great catches. So there it is, 205 for nine Zimbabwe from 50 overs and Australia in 39.4, 207 for three.